Hi, guys. Looks like I'll be by myself today because our slime has wandered off somewhere. <gasps> huh? Sam? Good day, Susan. Uh, Sam, are you all right? Where have you been all morning? I was studying the essence of things. <laughs> what? I have no time for these idle talks. You won't understand anyway. Hmm. Try me. Ahem. I've become deeply interested in studying the inner world of frogs. Huh? Frogs? Sam, they don't even live anywhere near us. Oh, this must be it! What? A frog? <laughs> uh, ooh, come on! Almost there! Behold! Uh, what is it, Sammy? Oh! Huh! This isn't an O, Susan. This is a real, physical model of a frog and its inner world. Hmm. People rightly say that it's one thing to study something in the book and a completely different thing to study it physically. That is, to watch how it works in 3D. Yeah, there's no arguing with that. Hmm. So you mean that we'll be assembling a frog? That is correct, my dear Susan. I will talk you through the process, don't worry. I've read so much about it. <laughs> <laughs> Let's start. So, first, you should assemble the legs. Here we can see this, uh, leg. It consists of these, um, leg parts. Leg parts. Yes! Take them and assemble the legs! <sighs> Let's see. I think I should put these parts together. Hmm. Uh, yeah, this is actually an arm, not a leg. Uh, yes, a lower arm. Now the second arm. Continue, Assistant Sue. You are doing very well. And, uh, I need to uh, refresh my memory. Oh. <sighs> <laughs> I have two frog arms now. I'll just set them aside. Hmm. I think now I should assemble... The body. Oh, yes. Yes, fine. I was just about to, actually. Yeah? Well done, then. This is a cavity for inner organs. I'll insert it here. Sam, have you refreshed your memory? Oh, uh, yes, yes, sure. <laughs> I am here to inform you that a frog consists of three, um, huh. <laughs> uh, no, no, four parts. Hmm. Yes, yes, head, body, legs, and uh, arms. Oh, <laughs> thank you for the information. It's very valuable. Uh, oh, did you know that a frog has more parts inside? Like a uh, what? Like this. <gasps> <gasps> Sammy, what's wrong? It's just plastic. A model. Uh, oh, uh, yes. <laughs> yes, of course. Phew. Uh, proceed. And uh, I'll return later. Oh, here we go again. He starts something and then tries to avoid all the work. No matter how many times you call him a professor, it won't work. Ugh. All right, let's keep going. This is the stomach. Do you see how it looks? And, uh, it goes right here. Beside the lungs and the heart. And now, the skeleton. I'll place it right on top. Huh, looks interesting. <laughs> hey, hey, Sue! Do you know why frogs are so happy? Uh, why? They eat whatever bugs them! <laughs> <laughs> Oh, why are you scared of the model you've bought yourself? I simply haven't covered it with the top part yet. Here, look. Nice and easy. Done. It doesn't look very covered. But you wanted a visual model, didn't you? Well, it's just too visual. <sighs> I thought it would be something like this. Yeah, Sammy, this has a frog's anatomy. Oh. It can't be completely covered. Otherwise, what's the point? Oh. Hey, guys, 
Did you know that a frog's pupils can be different shapes? Ellipsy, round, triangular, and even star-shaped? And here, we can see the frog's muscles. Uh, uh, here, there are some caps here. Yes, but they're completely transparent, see? We need to put them in the right places. That way, we can still see what's inside. Uh, fine, I'll place one. <laughs> then you can put it away. Somewhere high and far. Uh, where's my book? <laughs> <laughs> Why that Professor Sam? Frightened by his own experiment. Hey guys, did you like this model? Give a thumbs up if you do. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel to follow new adventures of Mad Professor Sam. Bye! Oh, this is just so beautiful. Oh, what a technique. Creativity, wow. What you doing? Enjoying the art, Sammy. Uh, boring. Who's this funny lady? Oh, Sam. It's a Mona Lisa portrait by a great huh. artist, Leonardo da Vinci. Wow. Uh, what's up with her eyebrows? <sighs> it's a self-portrait of Frida Kahlo, Mexican artist of the 20th century. Oh, I didn't know they had selfies back then. Oh, Sam, you are such a know-nothing. Whatever. No one cares about those old pictures. Hey, where are you going? Uh, uh, here! Welcome to the 21st century! Uh, what is it? It's a doodling robot! And he's much better than that, uh, Leonardo da Frida. Well, what should I do with it? You put it together, of course! <sighs> okay. Hey guys, today I'll be assembling a doodling robot for Sam. Let's start with this small motor. I'll connect these things together first. Huh, I wonder what this is for. Ah, there. And screw these little guys right in. Oh, can you make it look like a Terminator? Not really. And I doubt this robot will be as good as the oh, great artists. You're wrong. You wanna bet? <laughs> Why not? If I win, you buy me the biggest chocolate you can find. And if you lose? Then, uh, you don't have to buy me anything. <sighs> Guys, who do you think is gonna win this bet? Leave a comment below and watch the video till the end to find out the answer. There. Next, let's put together these grippers. Don't break it! Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hmm, that's strange. Okay, well, it probably goes here. And, uh, this one there. Ugh, oh, I would never be able to get it done without the manual. Everything should be just in the right place or it won't work. All right, well, that flat part should probably go... Here? Yeah. Ooh, such small parts. <laughs> you need a toy screwdriver or something. Let's fix it in place like this. Ah, perfect. Now, I'll insert this marker to make sure it's the right size. And twist it in, twist, twist, twist. There. Fix it up here. Mm, a little more. <laughs> Sam, are you okay? I am not Sam. I am Saminator. <laughs> okay, Saminator, it's time to go. I am gone, but I'll be back. Subscribe to my channel now! A little bit more. And there. Okay. Now I'll put together another gripper. Huh, you know, it gets easier with each one. I know what goes where and in what order. <laughs> I could make it with my eyes closed. All right, let's screw it in right here. There, and put the marker in. Ah, 
there. <laughs> nice. Now we'll put it all together. Hmm. Guys, our robot is kind of boring. <gasps> Should we paint it? Give a thumbs up if you agree. All right, the robot is almost ready. I just need to insert a battery. Right in here. There, remove the caps. And it's ready to create a masterpiece. Sam! Sammy! <laughs> what? Yes, I'm here. I got a piece of paper. <laughs> Good job. Shall we? We shall. All right, and go! Nice. Ooh. <gasps> Let's compare. <sighs> hmm. Looks like somebody just lost a bet. Okay, you may buy me nothing this time. <laughs> Guys, did you like our doodling robot? Give a thumbs up and subscribe to Sam's channel and he will definitely come up with a million new things to keep you busy. Bye! Go, my pet Terminator! Go, go, go! We still have a Picasso to overdo! Hey guys! Our slime is glued to the TV, so today I'll be making a video without him. One of his friends just gave him a really cool thing as a gift. It's a kit for making your own Eiffel Tower. And today, I'll show you how to do it. Toss away this ugly fake! Sam, what are you doing? Whatever I want! What's up with you? I want the <gasps> no way! Yes way! They just announced the numbers on TV! And I have them all! You're right! So what's the prize? Kiss to Paris! I'm going to Paris! Yeah! Oh, it says they provide tickets, hotel, and even a city tour! Looks like you got really lucky! I need to prepare! Toodles! Hmm, it sounds too good to be true. I'd agree with you, but then we'd both be wrong! Okay, we'll let Sam go crazy, and I'll get to making a tower. You tell me if I'm not the most prize-worthy slime on this planet! <sighs> no doubt. Doesn't it scare you that France is a cheese motherland? They have a lot of it there. Eh, I've made my peace with it. <laughs> okay, let's get to it. First, I need to assemble a tower. The instructions look pretty easy, I don't even need glue. Just need to detach these pieces from the base. Keep going. Yep. Just like this. Where is a French phrase book? No hmm. idea, Sam. <laughs> okay, almost there. Now I need to get these pieces together. Okay, now this one. Uh huh. And connect this to the top right here. Now the base. Oh, and there. Now we snap them in place, put these together, and wow! The tower is done! It looks gorgeous! Guys, do you know why the tower is painted blue, white, and red? Press the pause button and leave a comment below. Come on, phrasebook! Let's learn some phrases! <laughs> All right. Now we need to change the texture of the tower, so I have these buttons here and my hot glue gun. We'll just put the glue on the buttons like this and stick them on. Be really, really careful with the hot glue gun. Now we have these cute flowers. Stick them there and here. And another one there. Hello. Bonjour. Bonjour. Thank you. Merci. Merci, madame. Subscribe. Abonnez-vous, s'il vous plaît. Merci. Hmm. 
Our Eiffel Tower definitely doesn't look ordinary, but it's okay. Our slime is anything but ordinary as well. How do you say slime in French? Hmm. Well, no such word. Nonsense. There is slime. There should be a word. Bonjour. Comment ça va, madame? Tu parles français? I don't parlay, Sam. What an ignorant madame. Yeah, and you were born French? It doesn't matter, honey. Right now, I have nothing to say to you. Okay, guys, now it's time for the funnest part. I need to thoroughly spray paint this whole Eiffel Tower. So let's move it aside, put some scrap paper so we don't make a mess, and spray! Oh man, this is so fun! Spray, 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 spray. Oh, Sam would love to do this. And a little bit more. <gasps> All this excitement made me hungry! Give me a candy! Hmm, well, I forgot. Uh, what's candy? Sorry, sorry, you did not forget. Candy! <laughs> Here, Frenchman. Our spectacular tower is almost ready. We just need the finishing touches. I'll use dry sponge and white acrylic paint. Here, just like this. I'll apply it here, and here, and a little bit here. Don't forget the flowers and all the buttons. Blue looks so good with white. Oh man, I feel like a real artiste. All done and pretty. Wow. Okay, our craft is ready. What is this? A Eiffel Tower for a smurf? It's modern art, you mm. expert. <sighs> Whatever. Very soon I'll be cruising sane, drinking hot chocolate and enjoying the normal Eiffel Tower. <clears throat> Guys, give a thumbs up if you want to see my live broadcast from <laughs> Paris! Will you send me a postcard? If I have the time. You know how these trips go. Oh, by the way, see what seats there are hmm. on my ticket. Let's see here. <gasps> Sam, I have bad news. What? An aisle seat? No, a window seat, but the ticket is not to France. It's to Paris, <gasps> Texas. What? <gasps> it's not possible. There is only one Paris. <laughs> I'm sorry, Sam. Maybe another time? What other time? My hopes, my dreams. All crashed! What about my French? S'il vous plaît! Aw, looks like Sam's not going anywhere. I'm sure he'll get over it, though. Guys, if you like this video, give us a thumbs up and subscribe to Sam's channel. That's it for today. I'm off to console Sam. I was this close! New places! Cruising! New candies! New faces! Bite me, I said new faces! <laughs> Hmm, let's see. Ah, uh, tiramisu. Biscotti. Gelato. Sam, you're speaking Italian now? Mm-hmm. These sweet treats will get anyone singing in Italian. Not only speaking. Oh, oh. yum. Mm -hmm. I want to try them. I need to go to Italy, especially after I failed to go to France. Italy? Well, all right. They do have really delicious desserts. <laughs> they also have this <laughs> tower. Uh, what's wrong with it? Is it tired? <laughs> no, not tired. It's leaning. <gasps> hey, why don't I make you a model and show you? <gasps> oh, yes! Hi, guys. Today, I'll be making a model of the Leaning Tower of Pisa from these parts. I ordered this thing! Oh. It's really what? You'll see when they deliver. Uh, all right. I'll start making the model. First, I'll press out the details. Hey, Sam, will you help me? Oh, uh, I don't really know. It was your idea. And <clears throat> I have things to do. What things? I need to pack. Huh. I wonder what Sam could have ordered. Well, I'll just have to wait. I'll work on the model in the meantime. I'll press out these parts. Just like this. And these round ones, too. And another one. And this. Mm. <gasps> Whoa! <laughs> this is really fun. All right, now I'm gonna attach this to the base. Snap it in place. And the other one. Here we go, snap. <laughs> there. I need to pack this. <laughs> oh, oh, and, uh, and this. Mm-hmm. <laughs> 
Sam, don't tell me you're going to take this with you. Mm. Oh, what if I want to bathe? Uh, huh? You think there aren't any bathtubs in Italy? Uh, well, could be. Oh, Sammy. Let's keep going with our model. Oh, you guys, I really love these colors. It's red, white, and green, just like the flag of Italy. <laughs> and... So, how's it coming? Well, it would have been quicker with your help. Oh, yeah? When would I pack? You know it's not an easy thing to do. Guys, what do you think? Does it take a long time to pack for a trip? Write in the comments. I'm sure they'll agree with me. But now, I'm ready for anything! <laughs> <laughs> okay, only a few parts left. I brought one for you! <gasps> oh, thank you so much! I'll attach them here. Mm -hmm. And here. <laughs> All right, ready! Wow, beautiful! But not too steady. Oh, don't worry, it won't fall. I'll be back in a moment! Hmm. Ta-da! Whoa, what's this? A pizza? But why is it so small? And oh. you don't like pizza, it has melted cheese all over it! It's a very special Italian slime oh. pizza! Open it! Okay! <gasps> Whoa, gorgeous! Mm. Special order for a special slime! Mm. Mm -hmm. Delicious! Mm. Perfect! It is indeed <gasps> Italian! <gasps> It's written here that it was made in Italy by, uh, Mr. Brownie. What? Who? It says right here, Mr. Brownie's pizza. No! Not Mr. Brownie! Whoa! Why? Why? Mr. Brownie? Nothing will make me go there now! Well, why, Sam? Oh, we go way back, Mr. Brownie and I. We have some unresolved hmm. issues. Is he a slime, too? No more questions. I don't want to talk about it. And get oh. this pizza out of my sight. Well, looks like Sam will have to enjoy miniature Italian views instead. Guys, do you like this model of a tower? Give a thumbs up if you do. And let's get it to 2,000 thumbs up to cheer Sammy up. See you soon! <laughs> I need to lure Mr. Brownie right here. Yes, here and there. No! Uh, nope, not it. Uh, ouch! Uh, where is it? Uh, oh, here it is! Ouch! Heavy! Come on! Drop! <sighs> what is all this noise? Hmm, it's a stone slab. It's not just a slab, it's an ancient stone. Oh. I found it in the Tibidabo Mountains. They say that deep inside lies the magical power of the Tibidabo monks. Or their writings, or their candies. I don't remember, but I want to see! Inside? Do you want to become an archaeologist? Arch what? No, I don't want to become some archaeologist. I just want to break the slab to get the magical power. Uh, what? Break it? No, Sammy, it doesn't work that way. <gasps> Here, let me show you. <laughs> Fine. Doesn't work this way. Uh-huh. <laughs> I'll put it here. And take out some special tools. <gasps> There's a crack! Well, you broke it yourself. <sighs> I'll take this and start removing the layers, slowly and carefully, just like this. Be very, very careful. You don't want to hurt what's in there. Now listen, who is this archaeologist anyway? Archaeologist, not archaeologist. Mm -hmm. It's a specialist who studies historical findings, usually things <sighs> found in the ground. Many historical findings have great value. No wonder! If I found a historical candy, it would be of incredible value. Especially for me. All right, a little bit more. Oh, look! There's something here. Hmm. I need to take the brush and carefully remove the dust. Hmm. Let's see. <laughs> it's not clear yet, but do continue and I will be just a moment. 
I wonder what we'll find in here. Guys, have you ever seen an archaeological dig site? Give a thumbs up if you have. I'll continue digging. Sam is missing as usual. Maybe he... <gasps> oh, stop, Sam! No, what is with you? What? I wanted to help oh. you. Speed the process up. I even brought you a oh. bigger brush. Well, thank you, but it's very delicate work, and that kind of tool can really damage it. Well, fine. I actually wanted to bring a drill. <laughs> It will be just wonderful if you really help me. Okay, what do I need to do? Here, take this brush and start removing hmm. the dust. Ugh, working like a bee here really, really hard. Ugh, it is not that easy to get a magical power. <laughs> hey, busy bee. <gasps> I think we found something. <sighs> What's that? These are dinosaur bones. Ew! What do you mean, ew? This is a historical binding. <gasps> Let's put it together. Mm, I don't want to be an archaeologist for some Aww. dumb bones. It's not fair. Instead of a magical power, I get some old bones. Ugh, and no uh, candy. Here. <gasps> oh, thank you. we've dug out. Oh, I think it's so cool. Hmm. Doesn't look like an ancient message from the Tibidabo monks, but oh well. Uh, what kind of dinosaur is it? It's hard hmm. to tell from the skeleton. Well, I have these cards. Let's take a look. Ooh. How about this one? Nope. Hmm. This one? Uh, no. <sighs> Here? Hmm. Hmm. Not that uh. one either. What about this? Oh, there! Uh, uh no, nope, not <sighs> the one. <laughs> Guys, do you know what kind of dinosaur this is? Write in the comments if you do. We're really curious. Oh, if I leave a candy for a long time, will it also become an archaeological uh, finding? I'm not sure. Maybe if you leave it for a few hundred years, it will? <gasps> oh, no, I can't wait that long. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go and have a talk, Candy, just you and me. Guys, give a thumbs up if you liked our archaeological dig, and let's get it to 2,000 thumbs up to see Sam's new adventures as soon as possible. Bye! Hmm. <laughs> oh, phew. Oh,